So, boom, who do we have here today? It's your boy Mew Free. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Mew Free and um, Mirage Island Media. Hey, and um, yeah, so you recently released an album. Yeah, yeah. And uh, do you know the title of it? Well, of course you do, but. <laughs> yeah, you... I don't hope so, man. I'm a mad guy, but I definitely, I definitely remember the name of that Shadow Band. Uh, you can catch that on all platforms. That's on Spotify. Apple Music, iTunes, YouTube, Mew Free, M E W, the number three, R E E, and you can get that man for real. And I'm doing that rap thing, bro, just trying to get them real revolution rap bars out there, real life music. That's the only way to do it, man. Because if you ain't releasing transparent, real, authentic music, you're wasting your time. Simple. Uh, the first question is what road were you on? Was in trouble with the losers. Ah, Hastings Road. But I was on the corner causing trouble with the losers. I didn't know better. It was still a supply. That's all that I knew. Shit is real to survive. I just wanted to give them like a brief insight into like where I came from, how I grew up as a kid, not in the best of situations, obviously out of the gutter. It is what it is. But like today's a new day. Different man standing in front of you from them days there. Do you know what I mean? It's all a journey, it's all a process. So that was like the main, the main point of that visualizer. I wanted to kind of give them a journey, and what better way than to do that than to literally say what I'm saying in the rhymes, and then to walk from one end of my old road uh, to the to the start of the road to the end of my old road. Do you know what I mean? It literally, the visual visualizer was just to show you the journey while the words were speaking the truth. You know what I'm saying? Shit, this is my life, my past now, but we came up out of struggle. It's just a recap. Nothing to glamorize it, nothing glamorous around here. And at the end of the day, is you got to look at where you came from, whether you come from the bottom, like came from the bottom. Now I'm doing my thing, and you've always got to reflect on your journey because if you ain't building yourself as a person, you can't identify the, the fact you came from somewhere, you come from the bottom, and now you're doing good, you're doing good things, then it's not really much you can add to your journey if you can't visualize that or put that into your mind and show that. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean you've got to be a music artist to show that or anything like that, but if you can't show that or express that, then is you really growing as a person? You know what I'm saying? Because we're all here to grow. Yeah. Um, where, can you, where can you find the Rocks of Immortality? Where can I find the Rocks of Immortality? Yeah. In my room, I've got loads of good positive stones <laughs> that bring good energy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And um, Eridu. Eridu. Under Eridu's yeah. ruins, yeah. rocks so, of immortality. Um, can you tell us more about Eridu? Eridu, there was a lot in that song there. So Eridu is the first city of civilization. You know, that's what's uh, recorded, but in real history, not his story. His story you know. Not going to get too too into that because we'll end up standing here for about five hours <laughs> but basically short and sweet first civilization known to man even say in the lyrics was eridu and a lot of ancient cities you know geometry was created there the will was created there it's basically the first human civilization where they actually had some sort of society of some kind yeah and what are some places people can find out more about their history uh, what some people, uh, more places they can find uh, about uh, Suma, uh, they can find that out in the Sumerian tablets, they can find that out on many documentaries on YouTube if they type in about the Sumerians and stuff like that, and uh, you know, the ancient cities of Mesopotamia and stuff like that. There's many, many, many hidden things in there which will really show you about the human race and show you about a lot about your history, no matter where you're from, because. All of us are linked to there, trust me. Uh, what's another term for a nitty? <laughs> a very high, 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 high person. Higher than the clouds. <laughs> hey, and one way to get high is through drugs. So, a drug addict. Which is a title yeah, of one of your songs. Yeah, title of my songs, Drug Addict, yeah. Searching for that loose change down the back of couches For that temporary aid that fills a nemesis is slain Where the melody of pain just forever getting played So what did you want to convey in the song Drug Alex? Basically what I wanted to tell them is like the damage that drugs can do I lost my cousin um, through heroin 
uh, and even close friends of mine have turned into like crack addicts and stuff and you know it's heavily impacted their life and they've gone on nothing but a downward spiral so basically I just wanted to raise awareness on like social situations and some stuff like that man like some real authentic music and uh, I even mentioned that in the song as well that I lost my cousin um, through hovering overdose and whatnot and just wanted to give him some real music man you know yep. that's all you can do fully um, on a genuine one I want to say sorry for your loss yeah, that's cool, man. That's but cool. Thank you, brother. I also wanted R. to. R.I.P. Danny. Big yeah. love, bro. Yeah. And I also wanted to say, um, shout out to you for being able to convey a message through that. Like you turn yeah, something yeah, dark yeah, into real, something real, you can real, teach people. Real. So I thought that that's like something to take from that. Yeah, yeah. And the next question is, why has this? Why has the price of cigarettes increased? Because the government are greedy scumbag bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's no other way, is it? Like, well, actually, the elites, like, they be the tax grabbing motherfuckers. Yeah. And uh, the cost of living crisis. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's like, leveled every, like, or increased the rate of everything. And, um, Are you talking about my song cost a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack sky high, way above where they're reaching from. The people controlled, still they don't see what's wrong. The elderly can't afford to keep the heating on morality, integrity. Where has that even gone? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Big up Milky on that, check that out. Milky on the feature. Yeah. If, let's say you were in the government's position. Never would be. Fuck the government. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next question. <laughs> yeah. So what happens when there when there are corrupt police officers? What happens is what you have now. People manipulated to give up their consent. To the fact where the state gets more powerful. We're living in a police state, computerized state. Digital world, digital YD. All the, all the stuff which I've been talking about in the album and been speaking about for many, many years. And the fact that people seem to think that the pigs are here. I prefer it if you call them pigs, by the way. But like, <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's, that's the most nicest word you can call these scumbags, yeah? They are out here violating human rights. They are out here killing innocent people. And that leads to no justice and no peace. Conduct, the stats and the facts, and from now it's just gone up. Yeah. Institutionalized racism, yeah. But we ain't letting the oppression stay here. To never. On that note, R.I.P. Uh, Chris Cabba for real, because that was um, that was deep what happened there. And with that, that's a whole thing as well. Obviously, the pigs are extremely racist. They have been setting up and killing people like it's been going out of frat fashion they've been killing the african people jamaican people the black people like it's been going out of fashion and it's disgusting and uh i went to i've been doing like uh i've been an activist against racism for for many years but um i went to one of the chris Caber rallies and uh condolences to chris Caber's family as well you know a bunch of very nice people as well i spoke to some of them on instagram and in person as well very nice respectable people and um, obviously like for some people which ain't familiar which happened with the Chris Cabba case is he was unlawfully shot they tried saying that he had a weapon on him yet they never found no weapon in the car no weapon was retrieved even on him and they unlawfully murdered him so that's that enraged me so much and I'm obviously aware to like police corruption and the racist pigs as well and how disgusting they've been treating people so that's what made me write that song Hey, that's because a... you know we're all we're all humans we're all here to live we're just trying to live in harmony and sometimes we just got to step up and be militant and it is what it is and show these pig motherfuckers and these elites that we ain't gonna have it we ain't gonna have them take our freedom we ain't gonna have them take our rights we ain't gonna let them bully us but the way they be uh the the corruption in 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 the pig force is just disgusting it's just overrun and how they get away with the stuff they've done i mean i said it all in that song so you know but on that note condolences to chris cabba's family and r.i.p chris cabba for real man and anyone else that's gone through uh racial injustice from the pigs or the system in any way shape or form man we're here to support you love what's it called when people use someone else's talent to push their agenda 
Well, formally, my, my first reaction will be there, snake motherfucker. But obviously, you're referring to my song with a uh, cut to the chase, yeah? It, uh, fake industry. Real recognize, real man, this industry's fake. Be up, cut to the chase. Hey. Yeah? All right. Yeah, um, so basically, what I was getting at in that song was like, is the basically the engineer works of how the music scene works they'll see someone who's influential you ain't even got to be talented it's just influential you know how the internet in this day and age works it's just fake fucking matrix bullshit so they'll see someone influential having a hold on people's minds they'll take that person no matter how good or shit they are lyrically or talented or whatever and then they will turn that person into a superstar for a trade and manipulate them with jewels money, riches, whatever. And obviously, a lot of people be coming from the gutter like me, you know, we're no different. They will jump on that quickly because they never had that before. And I understand that people have got uh, families to provide for, and shit like that, and they just want to live out their dream. But <laughs> that's all good and dandy. But the real, the real of it is, look at how many artists have been done wrong by this satanic system forced into doing shit that they don't want to do and ending up to the point where they even are just not even in the game no more they're in the ground they were killed because their influence got too big out of their control out of the elite's control and you know once again just listen to the song for that man it's, it's real it's real out here coinciding with the premise that you were speaking about yeah yeah what is the word that this definition is held to the established set of attitudes held by someone well, that would obviously be their mindset. Start place in your mind. Where you find that in a strength. And uh, the energy which they put out, their spirit, their emotional intelligence, their composure. And um, what wakes people up in the morning? What wakes people up in the morning? Many things. <laughs> yeah. Loud noises. That's true. That's true. Usually I set For an me, alarm it's clock. the gym. It's the alarm for the gym. They still stay asleep on a very thin line. The alarm clock going off, going off. Uh, what's the what's the impact on mental health in gym? It's it's good, man. It's brilliant. Like it's it helps out. It keeps you uh, focused, and it's good to always wake up in the morning rather than wake up late. Because obviously, you know, it keeps you focused, keeps you strong, keeps you healthy as well. Like they say, man, exercises the youth to fat. Uh, Exercise is the foundation of youth, so yeah, yeah man. So what don't people receive after perform uh, after a good performance? They don't receive an applause, they receive a roundhouse kick. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, you well, oh, what we're playing my song. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> see? I clock that still, yeah, yeah, yeah. No applause. Face ballad up, don't need to be no, it's no applause. No. I do this freely for the people, I don't need rewards. Hey. We got Ryan Sanders on that. Brilliant. Features on the album still. From the song lyric, you say, without causing chaos, there's no profit to be made. Well, that'll be anti social credit score. Without creative chaos, there's no profits to be made. Uh, the video for that is out now on YouTube, new free, anti social credit score. Check that out still. Crazy Yo, hidden hand to place you into systematic disorder, economic paradigm like schizophrenic torture. What is an anti-social credit score? Well, a social credit score, the reason why I could, is, is basically what's going on in China right now with the digital ID, with the computerized state, obviously your 15 minute cities as well, all the communism. So obviously, instead of having money, you have a social credit score which is basically what money is in over there. And if you don't comply with their rubbish, then obviously your social credit score goes down and that's what they're trying to bring over here and in many other places as well to turn that into a one world agenda. And then we're ruled under one world government. So the reason why I called it anti-social credit score is because it ain't in the favor of the people, but they will package it like it is to get the people not to question or, and to consent people just uh, be normalized to it like it's actually normal behavior like where the government actually are dictating to you what you can and can't buy and where you know central uh, digital currency CBDC and all shit like that where banks will be a thing of the past and everything will be digital where it just literally gives over pure control to the elites and you are just literally powerless and this is going on in many communist countries like Cuba China and so forth 
and people just seem to think it's like some sort of uh, conspiracy theory which it ain't it ain't no illusion this shit is happening right before your eyes these 15 minute cities are coming and people need to realize that this stuff can only exist if you give your consent that's your main weapon there. people really don't understand that they are the power but once again that's a whole nother subject and for people which some people sometimes struggle to break that sort of stuff down that's cool man you know no disrespect to use the best thing for you to do is just go listen to the album and then it will explain all yeah with without sounding wet uh, <laughs> do you know that i care about you are you talking about why do you care it's fighting for the people you're complying to the evil acting like the key to get on with life is from a needle yeah the kids dying over here and they've got your brain washed in fear they're like why do you care right, yeah what made me write that song uh, on the album was just for the simple fact that like people just literally do not give a, a, a fuck about anything unless it doesn't if, unless they feel it doesn't directly affect them but little did they know this is going to affect everyone what's coming with the social credit score system and all that stuff there in a 15 minute series that's going to affect everyone don't matter whether you give a fuck about this stuff or not and i said that in i said that in uh, the cover up tune, uh, tune called cover up on the album as well whether you care or you don't it's affecting all of us because that's just the truth man and that's that's all i can give people that's all i'm here to give people that's the only reason why i bother rapping i ain't got time like i don't give a fuck about clout i don't give a fuck about fame recognition any of that rubbish i simply am here the one objective is to get this message out and that is it simple and plain hey and um you've you've kind of covered the next point no pun intended so what does makeup do to blemishes and like i just said <laughs> you have to ask the girl in that question or did you mean it in a different way yeah it's a cover-up oh you too oh you're doing wordplay with the tunes again this is why you've got to rate my guy man he's got wordplay he's talking about cover up it's not conspiracy theory the ignorant sheep never research it clearly it's a cover up who features on shadow band uh there's quite a few features still um 16 tracks um six features we've got cut to the chase ryan sanders Yo, Nazrin Veronica. Alright, here's the first question. Yeah. So what animal is on the star sign Leo? A lion. Yeah. And the second question is what is the day after Mars' headline show? The twenty fifth. No, it's the first of uh, March. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then uh, the third question is what happens when you put those words together? What words? Uh, so the two answers. Yeah. That's my song. Hey, featuring. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> so are Milky and Kalu Positive. Hey, that's perfect. Then. And big up all the producers as well, man, because you played a big part in that. Hey. Too many names to mention. What what song is Mirage Island Media gonna do a lyric video for? Shadow Economy. Yeah. Mew free. Listen. Communities deprived, the plot is unity divided Cause in numbers we are strong but I was ruthlessly demised We call this, we call this part the final plug, yeah? Yeah That's what man said to me, the final plug So yeah, just shout out everyone who's supporting Shout out everyone who's been backing my thing for ages Shout out um, all the revolutionist artists And all the conscious rappers and singers And musicians that have been doing their thing uh, shout out everyone who's uh, really putting in the work and raising awareness about what's going on in the world right now. And shout out everyone who's on a positive vibe, man. Add me on the, catch me on the Instagram at 
Mew Free, M E W Free R E E, on YouTube. Mew Free, same thing. And yeah, man, we're just raising awareness, trying to guide the people to a better future, bro. Because we don't want our children living in this tyr tyrannical state, which they're trying to force on us right now. You know what I'm saying? So, all power to the people, all freedom to the people. One love, big up Mirage Island. He's like the CEO of Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg. Fate in a balance on a tight rope. Why the lost people try to find hope. The Ross Charles run.